So we're delighted to have some first-class African-American art in our winter auction, including this mid-century portrait of an unknown man by Buford Delaney. Delaney was born right here in Knoxville and is one of America's most collectible abstract expressionist painters. We also have this carved limestone dipper or cup by William Edmondson. Edmondson was a Nashville sculptor who became the first black artist to have a solo exhibit at the Museum of Modern Art back in the 1930s. And this piece was exhibited in the Tennessee State Museum's William Edmondson retrospective back in 1981. It was originally owned by the Nashville-based arts journalist Louise LaCroix. We also have an abstract oil by Merton Simpson that features a, a really lovely color palette. And this piece is by Jeffrey Holder, who was not only a visual artist, but also a dancer. He acted in several movies and even won a Tony Award for his work on The Wiz. We have a mountain oil sketch by Grafton Tyler Brown. He's best known as the first black artist to paint landscapes of the Pacific Northwest and British Columbia. And there are three works by Kentucky's own Helen LaFrance, including one of her really desirable church picnic scenes. You can see the other two Helen LaFrance paintings in our catalog and learn more about how to bid at www.caseauctions.com.